Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about 10 signs that your friend is fake or jealous of you. If you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. So today's video is a little bit different, but ever since I had my Mindset Shift Monday with my very best friend, um, Damaris, um, a few weeks ago, you guys saw it, we talked about friendship and I let you guys know that, you know, I'll be talking a little bit more about friendships on my channel and I've actually been going through a lot having to deal with friendships in this season and it's been a learning process and a learning journey so I have been through a lot when it comes to friendship not just in this season but in past seasons so in this video I'm gonna be talking about 10 signs that your friend might be fake or jealous of you and kind of talk about uh, you know give you ideas of when you should talk to your friend like if they are showing one of these signs or when this is like really toxic and maybe this shouldn't be your friend or maybe this is something that you should pray about so with these different signs I feel like we can have different approaches um, to friendship but you know you may need to set up boundaries you may need to distance yourself from that friend or you may need to have a conversation with your friend depending on you know this these different signs that your friend might be showing okay so this is just so that you can use wisdom in your friendships and that you really understand the people who are really for you and the people who are not really for you and um, understand when God is revealing these things to you and how to deal with it and how to go about it all right so without further ado let's get started okay so number one the first sign that um, your friend is fake or jealous of you is if your friend can never truly celebrate you or be happy for you so I've experienced this where you know I had a friend I got engaged and um, my friend she cussed me out <laughs> when I shared that I got engaged she was like you lucky you know whatever and she cussed me out and she was just completely jealous and that was supposed to be a moment of celebrating me but instead of celebrating me you know this friend put me down and that kind of put a damper on the moment so you want to pay attention to how they respond when you share good news right so if it's always like like there's different responses if it's a friend who like cusses you out and is completely jealous then that's not a healthy friendship if it's a friend that you know is they respond nice so they know that they should be happy for you but they're really not so you know if they say oh I'm so happy for you but you can tell in their voice like they're really not happy for you then that's a time to pray for that friend um, because they want to be happy for you but they're dealing with jealousy they're dealing with something inside of them it's not really you they have to deal with that so that's something that I would pray for my friend or I would not tell them when something is positive in my life so you might just have to have boundaries with that person so maybe this is someone who's not gonna be your best friend but this is just someone who to protect them you kind of have to watch what you say around them or when you tell them something good happens they might say like man I wish I was like you like I wish I was doing something good right so this doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad friend that means that they're dealing with insecurity and you may have to guard what you say around them okay so it's good to understand the difference between someone who is like okay you're completely like out to get me you're not happy for me like you gotta go versus okay you're struggling with some stuff like I love you but I may need to guard what I'm saying around you and I need to pray for you all right so that is the first sign okay that you're dealing with like a fake or jealous friend or an insecure friend we can add that into the category an insecure friend is if they can't truly celebrate you or be happy for you the second sign that you are dealing um, you know with a bad friend is if they can't really be a good friend to anyone else right if they don't got any other friends and if they like are not loyal to anyone else and every time you talk to them they're gossiping about someone else 
then honey they gossiping about you they are probably not loyal to you right so my best friends have other best friends so I don't have any best friends where it's like I'm their only best friend like my best friends are there for other people are loyal to other people don't talk bad about other people so I'm watching how you are with other people so I can trust how you are with me so that's a red flag if you're friends with someone where um, you are their only friend and you know when you guys are together they're like I got your back I ride for you but they talk bad about everyone else and they're not loyal to anyone else then that may be a red flag that you want to look out for and it actually says in Proverbs 16 verse 28 a troublemaker plants seeds of strife and gossip separates the best of friends so gossip is definitely not something that you want in any place of your friendships all right so this is biblical as well so let's move on to number three number three so Oh, this is one that you probably want to stay away from. <laughs> this is just me. These types, I, I rather stay away from them. But um, I don't even have any friends like this. Like, I can't, I can't be friends with people like this. But number three is if you have a friend who's always trying to one-up you. So if you do something, they got to do it. And they got to do it better than you, right? So I don't like this because I want to... I want to support my friends in doing what God told them to to do. So my friends have to know who they are, have their own identity in Christ. They can't be trying to like copy, like they have to be confident in who they are, be doing what God tells them to do. Not to say that, you know, we can't do the same things. I have a lot of friends who do similar things to what I do. I have a lot of friends who are authors, who are business owners. So that's not what I'm saying. But you have to know what God is calling you to do. You can't just do what I'm doing because you're trying to do it better. So if you have a friend, you know, maybe you got a purse that you like and you're like, oh, I love this purse that I got. And next week they go and get the same purse but bigger. Oh, I got this purse too. Or, you know, things like that. They're trying to one up you. It's just competition. Then then there's jealousy there. That's not a healthy relationship. Um, so like... That is a no-no. If someone is always trying to one-up you, they're trying to compete with you. That means they don't want to see you win. And they're, it's, the relationship is not even healthy. It's not even good for you to be friends with them because they're not going to be able to grow until they get by themselves and alone with God and really discover what their purpose is, what they're called to do, and grow confident in who God created them to be and grow confident in how unique they are. So you actually being friends with someone who is competitive um i don't know i just feel like it's not even helpful to them <laughs> because they're going to keep trying to you know compete with you so i don't like that i don't like competition in friendships i want you to discover what god called you to do and be passionate about it and be confident in that and then i can support you in that number four so the fourth sign that your friend is you know fake or jealous of you is if you have a friend who aligns with you in public but they bash you in private this is not good what it means if they align with you in public that means that they want to align with you because maybe they know other people like you maybe they like what you're attached to maybe they like how they look when they're around you so it's kind of like you're a trophy friend so they hang out with you because other people like you you have connections but they really don't like you on the inside so you're like a trophy friend to kind of show off um, maybe because of how you look or your status or your title or your accomplishments so you're like a trophy friend they show you off in public but in private they talk about you behind your back you don't want to be a trophy friend you want someone to see you as a real friend who will honor you not just in public but in private they will have your back and honor you as well if someone tries to talk against you in private they'll be like I don't know what you're talking about this is my friend I know her character don't talk about her um, that's the type of friend that you want don't allow people to just dangle you like a trophy right but they're not really your friend they won't really build a true relationship with you and then five so this is kind of flipped so this is flipped around if it is someone who they um align with you in private so in private 
um, you know, they talk positively about you to people like one on one in private or, you know, you guys are really close. Maybe you see them every day. You hang out with them all the time. So this is someone who's your friend in private, but in public, no one knows you guys are friends. OK, so this is a little different. This probably means that this friend is ashamed of you they they might be embarrassed of something having to relate to you they're not really proud of you but they want to be your friend so maybe they see um, a positive benefit in being friends with you maybe they get something out of being friends with you or they maybe maybe they really like you or they like something about you maybe you're funny you make them laugh they like hanging out with you but there's something about you that they're embarrassed about that they don't want people to know that they're friends with you okay so with these type of friends um, I would say this is worth a conversation and it may be interesting to discover and find out like what is the truth so they might say you know um, you do this and you know everyone knows you do this and I don't want to be aligned with that or I don't know they might say something but I think it's worth a conversation and then when you guys have that conversation and you find out the truth then you can make the decision of wow so you're not a true friend you're ashamed of me or oh Maybe you're embarrassed because I have a negative habit that I need to fix. Or maybe you're embarrassed of aligning yourself with me in public because there's something that I do that's not right that I need to work on. Thank you for sharing that with me. I wish you would have you know, shared it with me privately so that I could work on that instead of just being embarrassed of me. I wish we could have talked about it. But it may be something worth talking about. So there's the friend that you know dangles you like a trophy, but y'all are not really friends. And then there's the friend that... Y'all are like really friends, but they're afraid to share that you guys are friends. If you have a friend like that, then I think it's definitely worth having a conversation about it. So I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on my channel, do not forget to subscribe. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Until next time. Bye.